All right, boys and girls, welcome back to Piston Rods and Dad Bods. Today's little topic is we're going to talk about stroker pistons for a Volkswagen. If you've been around a Volkswagen a little bit, you've probably heard the term A-stroke and B-stroke, and sometimes, for you guys that know what you're talking about, C-stroke. So, what are they talking about when you look at the ads for these oversized pistons, and they say that it's an A-stroke or a B-stroke? What they are talking about is the piston pin height. Okay, and on a stock Volkswagen, roughly the piston pin height from the top of the cylinder from the piston to the center of the wrist pin is around 40 millimeters. That's really rough. Each brand of piston may be a little different, but around 39 to half to 40 millimeters is where you're at, and that is considered a stroke. So if you see a set of 94 millimeter cylinders and they say they're a stroke. If you're buying them used, that's what that means, is that that will be used on a 69 stroker crank, stock crank, or you can um, use a mild stroke, but you're going to have to add shims to it. Another way to go, instead of using a piston like this, is let's say you're doing a very small stroke, and you're buying new pistons anyways. What you can do is use a longer rod, and what you can do is use a B-stroke piston. This is a B-stroke piston. Okay, and these typically have from the top of the piston to the center of the wrist pin about 34 to 35 millimeters. Each brand will be a little bit different, but that's kind of where they lie in. And we'll put these two together and you'll see what they've done here. What they've done is move the piston height up. And the first thing you can do is if we put these together, you can see where the rings line up. You can see that the wrist pin is in a different location. The wrist pin is much closer to the compression ring than it is on a stock one. We'll put these together here and you can kind of see just how much we are talking about here. All right, so we're about five millimeters different. And what that does, it lets you run that longer crank in there and still have the um, piston inside the stock cylinder. The cylinder doesn't change any length. Okay, they do sell longer cylinders, but those are for something totally different, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So you still have a stock width motor with your stroker crank, depending on the crank you use. All right, what you can do is you can do a bigger bore, like this is a 94, and you don't want to go crazy on the stroke. You're trying to build a motor that's not going to require a lot of clearancing, if any at all. You can use a 74 stroke and a set of these stroker pistons in like a 5.5 inch long rod and what that will do is get you back to the top of the cylinder without having to add shims and not having a negative deck because if you use a stroker piston with a stock rod on a stock crank you're going to have that five millimeters deck so the piston will be in the hole five millimeters another thing that's different about a stroker piston as compared to a stock or an a piston is you can see that the piston skirt on the bottom here is much shorter and smaller than it is over here on a stock piston. The reason being is when you add stroke, you're not adding it to the top of the cylinder, you're adding it to the top and the bottom of the stroke. So a 74 crank adds five millimeters of stroke to, as compared to a 69 millimeter stock 1600 crank. You're adding two and a half millimeters on the top, two and a half millimeters on the bottom. Well, when you keep going larger and larger, like an 82 stroke is 13 millimeters, you're adding six and a half on top, six and a half on the bottom. All right, that six and a half millimeters now is coming much closer to the crankshaft, to the rod and to the counterweights and all that. So if you had like a stock piston in a setup like that, you'd have to clearance the bottom of the cylinder. I mean, the piston, not the cylinder, all right? You'd have to um, machine it out. And they've basically done that for you in a stroker piston. You can see that the skirt is much shorter it is um, not as wide so that it can fit in between the throws of the uh, crankshaft as compared to this one. And that all helps it with the problem of on the bottom of the stroke. Plus, when they're moving the pin height up, you're also moving everything else down, basically. So they just whittle away at that. Does this give a little bit more wear and rock? Yes, it does. It also depends on how short the rod ratio is. That's a whole other subject. But... This is what makes it all clear. This is what makes it to where you can bolt the thing together and not have clearance problems everywhere in the motor. So, as you can see, 
But that's basically the main difference though is where the pin height is. And you can see how much closer it gets to the oil control ring on here. All right. Next thing is too, usually a stock piston has like a 2-2 and a 4 or 5 millimeter ring pack. Um, I think the aftermarket ones are like one and a half, one and a half, and I think it's like a 4 mil ring here. There are different sizes of ring packs, but generally they come with a smaller ring pack because the smaller ring packs are made for higher RPM as compared to the stocker, which is made for longevity. The next thing would be a C-stroke. I don't have a C-stroke here, but we're going to explain what a C-stroke piston is. A C-stroke piston is basically the same thing. It's going to be clearanced on the bottom of the skirt. It's going to have the pin higher up. All right. And those are generally 26 to 27 millimeters. What that means is this wrist pin usually will be in underneath the oil control ring. And as you can see, this one comes really close. This is not a C-stroke, but it is darn close. All right. You can see how this ring is almost in there. Well, a C-stroke will be up under there. All right. And it doesn't really hurt it because the wrist the clip actually goes in under where the rings go so it's not going to be in there but you'll have to disassemble the rings to be able to install the piston on the rod so a c-stroke is usually set up for like an 86 to 88 to 90 millimeter stroke usually you're going to find those in a very custom piston like a wiseco or something like that or a jne piston you're not going to find those in your average volkswagen um, parts catalog that's going to be something special these right here, if you're wondering what this is, this is the AA 85.5 stroker piston. All right, this is something that AA offers. This is the AA piston also, and this is just a stock um, KS Volkswagen. Anyways, these right here are interesting. These right here are made specifically for a Volkswagen. This was designed out. It's a copy of a Molly. And it's a slipper skirt design, meaning the skirt is narrow and shorter and doesn't go all the way around like a stock piston does. All right. When you buy like Molly's, they'll be all the way around unless you buy a slipper skirt style. These are usually like Wiseco type pistons. And AA's copied that in their cast pistons. All right. This thing here is not designed from to be a Volkswagen piston from the beginning. This is something that they've found has the pin height that we want to be able to do a stroker but stock bore setup. And that's hence the reason why the wrist pin is in a different location. I don't know what these originally are out of, but as you can see, you can look at it and see the design is completely different as compared to their other designs. All right. So this came out of some water cool car of some sort and it has a shorter um, skirt and narrower too. See that? really narrow compared to a Volkswagen stroker piston. So that's a little bit of an interesting thing. Thought you guys might like to see one of these. That's what we're going to use on our board. Our build for the stock board, large stroke motor. But if you ever wondered, that's basically what they're talking about. Okay, is the relationship of the wrist pin to the top of the piston. And here are two good examples on the extremes, you know, of how much different everything is. So hopefully that can doesn't confuse anybody. Um, hopefully that clears up confusion. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, Subscription is what's going to help us uh, get make more projects done here that keeps us going. And uh, get out there and get your projects done. And if you need a B stroke, go ahead and buy it. If you need A stroke, go ahead and buy it. All right. See you guys later and have a good time.